Hello and welcome to another Dr. Spotfire quick tip video. My name is Jose Leveguirre from the data science team here at Spotfire and today I'm going to talk about cascading dropdowns and the cascading dropdowns have multiple use cases. For example, you want to select from a hierarchy one value or a set of selections, then you drill down before bringing the data into memory, for example, then you uh, get the data on demand, or it can also serve as a use case for the end users to make selections before uh, visualizing specific data that they want to look at. Let me, let me show you what I mean by that. So here I have a data set with some random sales uh, data from a superstore where I have this hierarchy. I have the country, in this case it's only United States. Then I have a region, the city, the states, the postal code, and so on. So my drop down here uh, is selecting the unique values from my region. So let's go to the east region. And then the second uh, drop down is going to be automatically populated and the third one as well with the new values. So the, the east region has all these other options. So let's go to main and then select the city that I have in my hierarchy. And the city is, I have only two options from this data set, and then it's just going to populate that small subset from here. The, the process is you create a document property and then you create a calculated column, and then you create another document property for the next dropdown, and then you create a um, calculated column that is going to feed the third dropdown. So, so the first thing you, you do for this dropdown is to create a document property. And this document property, I'm going to edit the HTML or uh, the text area. So the first, the first document property uh, is going to be the selected region. So the document property is gonna hold the selected region. And this is going to be driven by the uh, unique values from the column, and then you choose the region and that's going to, to show this, uh, this set of values. Now for the second dropdown that is related, then you have to create a calculated column and then uh, a, a make a, a little logic there. So it's only going to filter the values that you have selected from this code. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let's go to the data and uh, calculate columns or data uh, column properties right here. The uh, column in this case uh, that, that for, for, for this dropdown to be related has to be um, the uh, filtered states. And the filtered state calculated column is based on, these, uh, on the region that is selected. And you're comparing which regions are selected with this calculated column. It's very simple. If they match, if this value match from the column, a match the one that you have selected is just going to show the main values and that column is going to call is going to be called a uh, filtered states and well the next step is going to have this drop down linked to that document property a uh, filter state uh, is linked to that uh, column in, in in this case is a filter filter state and a uh, uh, the document property is going to be called selected state and that's going to be useful for my next drop down the next the calculated column, let's go to the calculated columns again with my column properties. And uh, the next one will be the selected, the, the selected cities. And the selected cities now, because I want to have everything related, I can see that the custom expression is just uh, comparing the selected region and the selected state. And that's going to give me the filtered the filter cities which is my third drop down so with that um, a, once i have that then i just link this to the filtered cities or the it is going to be called the selected city that's going to be the name of my document property and is going to be populated by the filtered cities so let me now create from scratch so you can see how i create an, a, another another um, drawdown here. So let's create um, a calculated column to show the filtered zip codes based on the city that I'm going to select here. So for that, I uh, create a new calculated column. And the calculated column is basically going to be 
uh, the filtered zip codes. And the filtered zip codes is going to be very similar to my uh, uh, custom expression. Let me oh, uh, increase the font size here and uh, I'm going to wrap this condition. So if uh, the region corresponds to the selected region and the state corresponds to the selected state and the city corresponds to the selected city, then I'm going to show the zip codes, the post postal code. Here you, here it is, and that's it. So that's going to be called filtered zip codes or filtered postal codes. So click OK. Now I have these um, these values, and now I can just add to my text area the selected or filtered zip code. So let me just add that drop down. I have to create a new uh, document property. This is going to be selected zip code. Uh, it's going to be an integer because my calculated column returns an integer. And now I can select from my unique values the postal code right here. Now I have that one. And when I click Save, it should show the drop down up here. And now I can see my zip code and that's uh, and that's it basically also that, that's it so thank you for watching and please uh, keep uh, the comments and the suggestions coming don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next doctor spotfire quick tip video